Hello. First of all, I've made, I've got some stickers made. So when I hand out, uh, I send things to people, locks and things and prizes, I will stick a couple of stickers in there and hopefully um, you will stick them on your board with other uh, stickers. Now, why have I done this video? What is in the title? Now, because I think I've made a design, a two-in-one hybrid pick. It's similar to the two-in-one picks that you may see similarity, but it's actually different. Why is it different? Okay. Because this is made simply from a bit of brass hexagon wire, uh, rod, like my other picks, uh, in which if I can find one like these. Now the two-in-ones give you a little bit more stability. Um, so I would looked at two ones and thought, I think I can make one of those out of brass, a simplified version, mixing up a two-in-one design and these kind of picks. So I made a simple brass version here. And it's simply a hole all the way through. And then I made a picking tip, sorry, tension tip. And it's, it's fastened in. This one actually is just flat all the way along. And the rod goes at the, the picking wire goes at the top of it, comes out here. The reason it's close here is because, it's a few reasons. One of them is because um, I had trouble drilling holes without snapping drill bits through the center of these. So I need to work on this one <clears throat> through the center of these rods. Uh, and so I, I made a flat one to see whether I could actually do it that way. And it does work. If you have this too long, um, for example, if you have it really long like this, then you tend to find that because it's a two in one, the pick wire seems to drift a little bit and it, and it doesn't always seem to work very well. So long as you use this and it's not in a lock, which on a workbench like this, you would be picking, obviously on the bench, you wouldn't pick in a door. So these are great for lock picking on the bench. And obviously there's a hole all the way through this and it's just tightened up with grub screws and a bit of a tensioner for the wire and there's a picking wire. Change the picking wire if you like and this very easily. is an aluminium version, slightly different. Uh, this is a nail and it, there's a hole all the way through. Henceforth, I had trouble uh, sna snapping drill bits. <clears throat> a two millimeter hole, uh, it stops in here and it's fastened on my grub screws. This is the uh, pick wire bit and that is on a rod that's fastened to this. And that's what keeps the stability, it slides in and out of the tension part. I'm going to make another video on showing how I made these at some point. It sticks out to the back because you can adjust it. Um, and again, this one goes close to here. Now I do have different um, tips. Some may work, some may not. These are all experiment tips. Can you see? This is basically how they work. Oops. It's a nail, cut down, hole drill through, and basically that clamps in and that becomes your pick. Depending on the length of this, depends how far it sticks out, whether you want to pick it in a door or not, like this one. Um, but obviously I had trouble, and these are all experiments. You can see this one's a little different shape. A short one again, because once I got so far, the drill bits seemed to snap. <clears throat> so those experiments, and um, so I'm going to show you how I pick, use these. So put them out of the way. We take our homemade hybrid two-in-one, insert it into the lock, and we turn the tension to it grips the bolt. Okay, now um, you can see it's very close to the end of the lock, so it's great for picking locks not indoors, which is what most of us would do <laughs> legally. Um, so anyway. So I'm going to put tension on this, on the on the bolt, and I'm just going to lift the levers. Now this is a 1.2 millimeter pick wire, so it's a bit thinner. Don't know if you can see there, I'm trying to get a good angle for you. And I'm just 
going along. It's only a three lever lock just to demonstrate. Oh, there we go. We're open. See? I'm not going to throw the bolt because I don't have a key and I want to show you the other one working. That was easy, nice and quick. This is the aluminium one. Same again. We insert, turn the tension wrench round to grip the bolt. Hold it central and then we take the picking part and we again we lift the levers. Can I do can I get close here? And we just this is a thicker picking wire 1.6 and you could make um, I want to open. There you go. And again, I don't have a key, so I'm all locked up. So there you go. Uh, hybrid two in one. You just need a bit of rod, a bit of bar, drill hole all the way through. Um, tap these holes to grip and and the idea is, is that this keeps it nice and sturdy now these are great when you're picking with these but there's a bit of movement and you you, you know you, you you know and it's great they work great but I thought about two in ones so I had to go with this and the like I said this brass rod the hole all the way through it's fastened to this and it's inside this hole so it keeps keeps it rigid no movement hardly any movement and it allows you just to oh you got to concentrate on instead of the movement you've just got to concentrate on sliding it forward and backwards to pick the lock so I zoom in a bit like this so I made a couple of versions of these um all very similar so that's that one and is the brass one can you see all goes through the top this one's a little bit simpler to make a bit easier <clears throat> like this there we go so that's it hybrid my hybrid two in one picks so i hope you enjoyed that video um I managed to pick that practice a lot with it so thank you so much for watching you take care, you have a nice day, and there's more coming up on these soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.